welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I hope will, will be a fairly exciting video. It is quite exciting for me. I'm standing in front of a doorway and the reason that I'm doing that is because today, as the title of this video will have already given away, I am going to be filming an empty apartment tour. The apartment is mine. I bought it. I own it, well me and the bank do, because I owe them a lot of money and we'll be paying them back for a very long time. But it's my first apartment, it's my first purchase, it's been a hell of a journey getting here. But I have the keys, I own it now, and I'm gonna slowly start to fill it up with furniture. So before I do that, I wanted to show you just a little overview of what it looks like, because I know a lot of you guys are interested in this kind of thing. And I personally am very much into these types of videos and home decor and apartment tours and house and things like that very much up my alley at the moment and I wanted to be able to participate as well so we are at the front door we have a peephole I it's probably one of my favorite things at the moment I, I love it I haven't had a chance to really use it uh, sadly but there it is and then if I turn you around you can see the main living area of my apartment what really drew me to this apartment was the layout as you walk through the first thing that we see to the right here is the kitchen you can kind of see me over there because there's a dark mirrored splashback but I will come around and give you guys a bit of an overview it's actually a decent sized kitchen and there is a lot of built-in storage which is awesome I really do love that I'm a bit of an organizational freak and as I've gotten older, one of the things that's got me most excited about having my own place is being able to like, organize my own kitchen. There really isn't much in here at this point, although no, I lie. I do have a sandwich maker or a jaffle maker, or if you grew up like me, I used to call it a Breville. It was from Audi, 1995 love that <laughs> i have no food in this place but uh i can i can make toasted sandwiches we have the good old oven small but i'm not much of a cook and then all this is storage which is crazy i do have one small purchase in here which was a pack of 10 glasses for 12 dollars from kmart thank you kmart uh and then the rest of this stuff is just more storage i don't know what i'm gonna put in any of it i have this space for a fridge which is currently just holding my handbag uh, I do have a uh, little like women's toolkit up here. It's actually really useful and I have already used it at this point. This was an Aldi special buy and I love it thanks to my sister and her fiance for getting that for me. There is a microwave and a little step stool down there because I can't reach a lot of the cupboards. And I do have some cleaning bits and pieces under here because this is a new construction and a lot of uh, dust and stuff was around. So there we have it, dishwasher, fairly least stock standard, sink. Then as we come around here, this is the dining area. I do actually have this table I have purchased a couple of bits of furniture just because there happened to be a sale on something in Ikea. This is an Ikea table, might not live here permanently, it probably will come out a little bit. The plan is to have four sort of nicer chairs around that, I haven't quite got them yet. Maybe a couple of stools here. And then we have the living space, I'm trying to not sort of show the view too much just for privacy reasons, but I, you guys can see a lounge will be there. <laughs> a TV, <laughs> media unit or whatever will be on that wall. We have some air conditioning and then basically a whole bunch of room for activities at the moment. <laughs> There's the sort of view looking back onto this space. If we go out here, this is the balcony. I'll take you out here now. There's quite a bit of construction, so you'll probably hear that. <laughs> the balcony is a decent size. The one thing I do have here is that uh, my father built it for me. You can see the air conditioning unit there and he knocked this up the other day, bless him, which is really, really nice. So I can probably decorate that with some pot plants and whatnot. And then eventually there'll probably be some kind of outdoor furniture out here, maybe a small table. I'm not 100% sure yet, but there we go. And then we also have some sliding doors back into the master bedroom. There's a lot of glass in this place. So right now I can't move in until I get curtains because there's really nowhere to hide bar the bathrooms. But here we go to the right of the right left sorry to the left no to the right sorry my left and right are terrible but to this side of the living space we go into what is the master bedroom again it is empty a bed if you can imagine will go here we sort of turn around we have a wall in which hopefully a tv will be right now i've just got this little tv old one from uh, our house it was actually used to be in my sister's room at one point but I was just testing the TV ports to make sure they work so for now 
that is my friend in the apartment. And then if we come through here, we have uh, wardrobes to each side. They're mirrored wardrobes. I'm not a massive fan of mirrored wardrobes just because I feel like it takes up a lot of excess space, but I mean, lots of mirrors. Look, we can do outfits of the day. If you guys want to know, Converse shoes, Kmart jeans, forever new top, face from my mama, <laughs> buy a Charlotte necklace and Apple watch. Look, there we go. Love it. So they have built-ins, which is actually really nice. We've got some long hang there. And then if we sort of spin around, we've got the same on the other side. So there is a decent amount of space. I could definitely fill this all by myself just because, but um, really happy with those. And there's quite high ceilings in this place as well, which is quite nice. And if we walk through here, we have the bathroom. I'll just switch on the light. Again, I don't have much in here. Uh, I do have, I've been umming and ahhing between a few different uh, baskets to hold toilet paper. So this one is from Kmart. It's the medium round basket. You guys can maybe vote on the other two options. I'll show you later because I can't quite decide. The toilet paper is necessary. <laughs> then we have a shower. I've just got a little duck board there from Kmart, mainly because I can't put it here because then I can't open the door. Uh, but I've always wanted one of those. So there we go. A little bit of body wash in there. I've yet to actually have a shower at this place, so we'll see how we go. But I like the colors in here. It's really nice whites and grays, floor to ceiling tiles. Not a ton of storage down here, which is one thing that I kind of wish was. Like I wish there was like a little drawer unit or something underneath there, but I can do that at a later date. Really big sink. And then we do have some storage here. We just open this up. You have some built-in storage there, PowerPoints. I've got a random Katy Perry perfume here. And um, that is basically, you know, toilet, toilet roll holder, towels, lots of space for hand towels, robes. You guys get the drift. It's a bathroom. <laughs> if we walk out back across the living space, you will see to the left here is a study. I keep on doing that because it makes me laugh every single time I um, read real estate listings where they talk about an apartment having a study and really it's just a built-in desk. But I am very happy to have this built-in desk. I have put a little fake plant here just to make it feel a little bit more homey because me moving in is gonna be a very slow process because I basically need to save up for furniture. But I have that little um, pot from Kmart and the plant from Adairs and I like it up there and eventually this will, where my la will be where my laptop and whatnot goes. We also do have the little buzzer um, so people can get up the elevator there. And then we'll go across into the second bedroom. This is where I have uh, purchased and put in some furniture. So we come across here, sorry, the light is really bright. I bought the Ikea Hemnes Daybed. A lot of people will recognize this because it's been around forever. There was an Ikea family sale where it was about $200 off its usual price. So I decided to buy it because I thought it would make a good bed to go in the second bedroom while I'm waiting to purchase my own bed. If I want to move in here, I could definitely sleep in that. It's great because it has some storage and it also pulls out into like a double bed if you haven't seen that before there's actually two mattresses stacked, stacked across there so i'll dress that up with some cushions and stuff that i already own for now but i thought that was a nice little addition to this room and i actually do have a little ikea table there and a plant and pot that i bought from ikea this is real so i have to come to the apartment each day and make sure that like i water that because i don't want that to die but that's the little bit of furniture i do have in this place and then i do have the leftover Ikea cardboard remnants that I need to get rid of and I do have a Kmart mirror that's going to go somewhere so That is the room if you look at it from the door We've Got some really big windows out there and then again, we have the double uh, Cupboards these are a little bit smaller than in the master, but you've still got some hanging space, which is nice and then you've got some built-in shelves and drawers and it's the same on this side as well. As I've already said, there's a lot of built-in storage in this place, so that was a big, a big draw card for me. Hi! And then we move into the bathroom. So as you can see, this is sort of the main guest bathroom, but it does work as an ensuite for the second bedroom as well. You have two doors to enter. Same thing as in the master. We have a little bit of storage here, and I have popped in some products just for guests. Uh, when they decide to stay, if I ever have someone to stay. Like I said, right now I'm not even living in the place, but you know, you gotta be prepared. So there's a few bits and pieces there. I also have some hand wash and hand cream. This was a little splurge from Mecca because it's like a, I guess as a gift to me moving into the place. 
for myself. Anyway, I have them in the guest bathroom because we seem to be using that. We have another basket here from I no actually this one is not from Ikea this is from Big W this is a seagrass basket but you can get them everywhere another option for toilet paper storage and I do have a rubbish bin which I have yet to open from Kmart another shower and yeah it basically mirrors the other bathroom with the grey tiles sort of the grey veneer and the white floor to ceiling tiles which is a really nice touch I do like the built-in uh, toilets as well you know it's the little things that make you happy then if we come back out of the bathroom as you can see we are now sort of back in the kitchen area but before we do that we do have these two little cupboards here one of these is the laundry like I said I have some cleaning bits and pieces a mop like a Swiffer mop thing a broom because I had to do a bit of cleaning on the floor it still needs a really good wipe down this place there is space for a washing machine when I get one. It actually came with a dryer, which is nice, and some shelves up there. Um, yeah, but a decent sized laundry for an apartment. I'm happy with that. Again, laundry, not my, my favorite thing, but um, I'm happy to have, have the option to, to be able to do my laundry here. And then we have a linen press slash extra storage. This is all like adjustable and removable, which is nice. And then more toilet paper. This was another basket option. You want to vote for one of the three. This is the Kmart Home & Co Oval Loop Basket, which is another option that I had to store toilet paper. I don't know why I'm going so much into this, but you know, this was the first thing that I could buy for the apartment. So I did toilet paper holder. And we're back in the kitchen, like I said. So that is pretty much the entire tour. It's not a long tour, but it's a great space. I'm really happy with it. It's very daunting. It's a little bit surreal to think that I own this and this is mine and that I could be living in this space one day, but uh, I'm, I'm happy just the same. I hope you guys have enjoyed sort of seeing the space a little bit and um, I guess knowing while I've been a little bit MIA for the, for the last few weeks or month or so, it was quite a difficult process that a lot of things didn't quite run smoothly, which happens to a lot of people. So, you know, if you want to hear a story about how I bought my first apartment, the things that went wrong, the things that I sort of learned about and um, lessons learned, I guess you could say. Uh, definitely let me know, leave me a comment and maybe I'll do that in the future. But that's it for this video. Ooh, okay, if you stayed around to the end, I wanna show you one thing. So right now, like I might have said at some point, this is a bit of a really expensive storage unit because I'm not actually living in here. I'm just kind of storing stuff here at this point. But I decided to organize some beauty products that I had no room to store at home. So these are the kitchen cupboards. Technically these are pantry cupboards in the way that the, the house or the apartment was designed and then these were just extra storage. So you can really put anything you want and what I have done is created some beauty product storage and it is glorious. I love it. It's the most organized thing I've ever done and I just, I can't deal. <laughs> So one day maybe I'll go through and show you guys in more detail what this is like because I know that a lot of you are here because you are into beauty but basically I have hair products down here, this is for some like new makeup that I get in, skincare, more skincare, some body products, face masks, tanning, hand and nails and then some like miscellaneous products up there but it is glorious. If you like organization, organization porn, cupboard porn, I'll just leave this here for you guys. These containers are actually refrigerator containers, again from Kmart. These bigger ones were $7, these were $5. I can pop a link in the description if you guys are interested, but this just makes me happy. It's like my own little price line at home. <laughs> Okay, well I've got to go because I actually need to pick up a couch so if you would like more apartment updates make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment and I'll talk to you all next time bye